just as lumpectomy has become an important treatment for many women with breast cancer, so too might a male lumpectomy become an option for some men with prostate cancer. Our work over the past five years at UCLA with targeted prostate biopsy has enabled us to find, identify, follow, and characterize tumors in the prostate. Our next horizon is to treat those tumors in the prostate focally. By focally, we mean targeting only the tumor for treatment, leaving healthy prostate tissue untouched. Many of the 240,000 new cases of prostate cancer may qualify for focal therapy, sparing men the complications of surgery or radiation treatment. In fact, 30,000 men will die this year from prostate cancer. Here we have two three-dimensional images, the ultrasound I image of what we're doing to the patient right now and the MRI image taken by a radiologist ahead of time so we can see the cancer. By fusing these two images together, we can reestablish the exact location of the patient's tumor in the doctor's office. So there are many challenges. Work is now underway towards focal therapy of prostate cancer. Uh, we're actually working with a prototype device that is capable of delivering uh, precision treatment to a tumor within the gland. This is what we call a prostate phantom. It's a simulated prostate made of agar, a kind of gel. This is a needle going into the Apollo's arm that we can then insert into the target. And this blue outline here, that's the actual tumor that's been fused on to the ultrasound scan. And so, this white streak here is a needle that's going directly into the target. This investigational method takes advantage of MRI localization of tumors and via image fusion allows ultrasound guided placement of treatment fibers into the prostate with millimeter accuracy. Laser energy is used because the treatment ablation of tissue is precise and the fibers are tiny, able to fit through conventional needle guides. Ablation means we apply laser energy, or heat, to the tumor so that the cancer cells will die. This is a laser fiber that we use to ablate prostate cancer. The end of the laser fiber contains a device called a diffuser, which focuses, rather than focusing the energy on a single point, spreads the energy out like a light bulb. We are hopeful that this treatment can soon be achieved in a doctor's office under local anesthesia. This is a replica of a real prostate that it'll actually turn white once the laser fiber heats it up to the same temperature the tissue would be damaged at. So what we're doing here is inserting this laser fiber into the prostate replica and showing what would happen in an actual treatment. This treatment is early in the developmental stage, but our hope is that one day soon, that men with a prostate cancer, at least some men, with a prostate cancer will be candidates for focal therapy. That is, can be spared the potential morbidity associated with whole organ therapy, surgery, or radiation. Uh, and we can devote our, our energy just to the tumor. <laughs>